Michael Safford Kantanka. This cannot be good. And um, it will mean that you support the strike action. That's what it is. Thank you, Roland. And good morning to your viewers. Um, I have a very interesting view on this whole um, Galamse and the struggle to attain some sanity in the, in the system. Um, two things. The complicit position of the people in government and the hypocrisy of the other half, the NDC. It makes me, it makes me wonder if really we are going to win this fight. Meaning all, right. all right. So the government of the day is unable to crack the whip, ensure enforcement goes through. Because where we are now, the, the real challenge is enforcement of the laws. Once there's a lic licensure regime, you are rest assured there's some form of regulatory body and some enforcement must be done. So once that has failed and we are where we are now, clearly it tells me some people in government are complicit and that's why they cannot crack the whip. Now on the part of the NDC, you see, and Ghanaians have to descend very well to be able to um, fully grasp the, the hypocritical position of the NDC in this whole struggle. And that's why I believe it's about time we shine the light on the two and then set aside this duopoly for Alan to come and fix things. In one vein, these guys are saying the um, government should fight Galamsi and all that. Then we see videos of them assuring the Galamsi perpetrators of continuity when they win power. Then we have a problem. And clearly, this is why we are not winning the fight against this, um, the excesses of um, Galamse. I don't want to call it illegal mining because then it defeats the whole point of issuing licenses. Once you give them licenses, then you legalize it. But now people perpetrating the excesses are doing so <laughs> with a license. And so then it's, you can't call it illegal because they have a license. Well, it, it doesn't it make it a, a system mm. or an atmosphere where we have legitimate licenses being given, where yeah. uh, the post facto action of making sure you monitor and make sure mining is done sustainably being mm. neglected? I agree with you. But then why, why is this so? Again, because of the two reasons I listed, the complicit nature of gov the government of the day, the NPP, the Kufado Baomia government, and then the hypocrisy of the NDC who wants to rule without any substantive you know, uh, plans to dealing with the situation. Alan has been very clear on a business model for dealing with illegal mining. And even before he gets to power, he said in two years he's going to get rid of um, Galamse and all the excesses we are seeing. And there's, I'm sure as the conversation gets better, mm. you will know what specific steps we are going to take to fix things. Okay.